As you may know, I am a Linux gamer and I play all of my games exclusively on Linux, so I decided to start a series where I discuss how certain games run on Linux, how to get them to run better, or how to get them to run at all. Since Far Cry 3 is one of my favorite games ever, and it happens to be infamous for running terribly, I decided that there is no better game for me to cover in the first episode of this series. So, without further ado, let's see how well we can get it to run. The results might surprise you. First. Let's take a look at the performance with no tweaks whatsoever. This is my hardware, I'm running the game using the latest stable Proton version, and I'm also using the Vulkan driver that comes with the Mesa version show on screen. Before starting the game for the first time, I will set these launch options to avoid any issues with audio or crashing. Now, let's see the performance. It... it sucks. It... it... it literally just sucks. The game is CPU limited on Linux in the same way it is on Windows, but do not worry, we can fix it. First, start by installing game mode. The commands to install it on Ubuntu and Arch-based distros are these, and the command for Fedora is this. You can enable game mode by going to the Steam launch options and typing in the following. Game mode usually helps with performance in CPU limited games, so let's see if it helps in Far Cry 3. No. Well, the problem is that the game is bad at multi-threading, so game mode had very little chance of actually helping on its own. But leave game mode in the launch options, it will help later. So, since we know the game is bad at multi-threading, how about we give it less threads? That might work, right? I went to my BIOS and disabled SMT. If you have an Intel CPU, what you have to disable is called hyper-threading. Let's see what that results in. Huh. That's a pretty good improvement. So, we're getting somewhere. Can we do better? Turns out we can. Go to your Far Cry 3 Proton prefix. From there, navigate to Drive C, Documents, My Games, Far Cry 3, and open your gamer profile.xml in your favorite text editor. Find this option and change the 0 to a 1. Now we can go back to the game and see if that helped. We see that we gained some extra performance, which is pretty good. And this is as far as we can go. There is no more performance we can squeeze out of this game. The last hack used caused crashes and bugs when I ran the game on Windows back in the day. But it doesn't seem to cause any bugs in Linux. I played the game for 20 hours and I encountered no bugs whatsoever. So the multi-threading hack is perfectly usable on Linux. I hope that now you can enjoy Far Cry 3 on Linux a bit more. If you found this video helpful, then leave a like and subscribe for more Linux gaming content. See you in the next one.